just uh-huh. published one, so we're a sponsor of it. Rita Smith is stopping by the LGBT Visitor Center to pick up some information about the Seattle International Film Festival for a friend. I think it's great to have the center here, and um, I direct people to it, direct friends to it, and um, use it myself when I'm in the neighborhood. Located inside the First Security Bank on Broadway, she's been here several times, but says some of her friends have been a bit confused by it. Indeed, it's a bank, and indeed, they do have uh, this visitor center. So I think it has kind of um, jostled uh, people's perceptions of, of who are our allies and what is our space, and I think that's good. The LGBT Visitor Center is sponsored by the Greater Seattle Business Association. The GSBA is the largest LGBT Chamber of Commerce in the United States. They have more than 1,100 members, including businesses like Microsoft, Starbucks, and Alaska Airlines. It's a very diverse and broad-based group of, of members that make up GSBA. A few years ago, the Chamber decided to work on promoting tourism for the LGBT community. They created a website called Travel Gay Seattle, but decided they also wanted a place for people to visit in person. The COO of First Security Bank, Drew Ness, is on the GSBA board and had an idea to offer some space at the bank for the visitor center because he says it's a fit with their values. One of our core values is that we celebrate diversity and embrace equality for all. So we really identified with the mission of the GSBA in finding a business organization, a chamber such as them, that shared those same values. And so it just made sense. We had the space, it was a good fit, and it kind of was born, and it's been full steam ahead since. The LGBT Visitor Center, located here on Capitol Hill, has a handful of visitors daily. Some are local, but many are also from out of town, or even out of country. Very recently I was restocking some brochures and um, two gentlemen walked in and I said, oh, where are you guys from? Are you visiting? And they said, we're actually here from Prague. Um, so that was exciting. They had just gotten to Seattle and knew, had heard about Capitol Hill and came up here and wanted to sort of see what the visitor center was all about. The GSBA has big plans for the visitor center. They want to recruit volunteers so there can be someone here in person to help direct tourists and answer questions about their plans. Whether it's visiting some of the more popular sites in town or venturing out into Seattle's unique neighborhoods. Pride! The LGBT community has the support of not only local businesses but also government leaders in the area. Seattle Mayor Ed Murray recently raised the gay pride flag to fly above City Hall for Pride Month. And since tourism is a multi-million dollar industry, many businesses like restaurants, hotels and transportation companies are also working hard to make sure everyone feels welcome in Seattle. For the tourism industry in particular, it is important to be part of the, the Travel Gay Seattle website and the, uh, this visitor center here because uh, we are going after a certain niche market that we have to expose ourselves and uh, we can only do this by promoting ourselves as a gay friendly city. Well the LGBT community is huge in Seattle and is such a vital part of what we do in our business day to day with Amtrak as well as nationally. Amtrak Ride with Pride features LGBT communities and organizations and partnerships all across the nation. The LGBT Visitor Center is one of only two in the country. Leaders say other cities are paying close attention to what Seattle is doing. I have gone and presented at various um, like tourism marketing uh, conferences and workshops and um, have been able to talk about what we've done and talk about the visitor center and a lot of some of the other LGBT chambers and other metropolitan cities that we already had connections with just as a business chamber have been like, oh, how did you do that? And is that something that we could consider replicating in our communities? Someday, the GSBA hopes to move the visitor center to a more central location and offer a digital interactive experience in the near future. It's all part of the group's hope of reaching more LGBT visitors and locals alike who are looking to explore Seattle. And we're trying to say this is a great opportunity. Uh, it's a way to bring in members who are in the hospitality and tourism industry, but it's also a way to show your economic clout in a region because tourism brings in great revenue to cities. As part of the Space Center, we take great pride in being part of the 
um, visual representation of the city. So we're part of the skyline. And when you think of Seattle, you generally think of the Space Signal. So we're happy to be part of that civic pride. We want to make sure that, you know, as part of Seattle, that civic pride, we're open to all visitors and we're open to everyone to come and enjoy Seattle. Watch City Stream Thursday nights at 7 on the Seattle Channel. Or get video on demand and podcasts anytime at seattlechannel.org.